Of all the operations we've had in a year, this is the lightest. Just going on a walk through the shelter belt. You are not going to a village swarming with the bastards. You are not doing some crazy maneuvers on armored vehicles. It is impossible to end up in encirclement. We do everything calmly. If someone feels that he's about to have an agitation attack or a panic attack, calm down. Take a few deep breaths in and out. In 90% of cases, it helps. If you don't wind yourself up that it's the end and you're going to die, Reloading, any problem, you twisted your leg, you shat yourself, anything else, your second number should know about it. Calmly, slowly, methodically we clear all the holes they dug. We stay alert, we don't rush anywhere. We are acting in a planned manner, calmly and in no rush. Great. Wonderful weather. As we say, give us shells and everything will be fine. <laughs> all in all, everything is okay. Only, as you can see, visibility today is not very good. Therefore, we are waiting now until it clears up and we'll be working tightly. Very tightly. Bro, I think I remember you from training. Right? Yes, it was me. We used to film you too. So, how are your combat work days going? Well, everything has changed drastically. My life has become better. In some moments, it was tougher at training than here in combat conditions. At training, we gave our 100% and it was really rough. You don't give your 100% here? I do, but at training we used to do physical training for 12 hours straight. I believe that the training was very useful. Everyone knows how to work with any weapons that we have, that we receive. By the way, during our first rotation to Bakhmut, we were issued these mortars. Two days before our departure, they said, Boys, here are the American mortars for you. Get acquainted with them. Use them as you wish and trample those bastards. Well, in the end, we trampled the bastards. And we did that pretty effectively. Everything was perfect until the weather happened. Reality happened to us. Here, you plan and then everything crashes on the harsh rocks of reality. Reading you. All clear. Plus. short smoke break and then back home. Move! Oh, 
Bobby, get ready. Go! Hurry up. I was hit. Hold on, you were dragging something behind you. Good luck, Chorney. Get well soon. Tear them down with SPG. Shot. Got him. Advance. Cover fire. You have a chance to surrender. Come out. Frag's going in. Cover me. Gus, enter the trenches. Load those in the vehicle. There's a bastard inside. Grenade! Surrender, bastard. Surrender and you will live. Surrender. Surrender, man. No one will harm you. Surrender or I'm throwing a grenade. Surrender, dude. Throw your rifle out. Careful. Shit. Are there bastards firing from the field? Yes, from the field. On the right, copy. Stop, stop. Let's go, let's go. Let's 
empty. Keep firing. Are you the last one out? Stitch, go! Shit, look at you shooting like that. Wire, watch out. Easy, guys, easy. You're a tiger. I just knew that. Smoke one throw away. Not mine. Take your guns. Damn, the bastards started firing from the field like crazy. Shit. Copy. Bovier, look for them. Damn it. The wounded Russian. <laughs> it would have been epic if a bullet flew past, tore my finger off, and you would have caught it on your camera. Would have been epic.